Oh, shalom, shalom, Rasta Sarhi. In a Wendim Yad. Greetings, this is Brother Yad. And I want to uh, address a couple of questions that came in from one of I and I, Wendim, one of I and I, brethren. Wendim Manley, this is for the I, but I think a couple of the other brethren and some who have reasoned with, we've kind of touched on some of these same issue, the issues. And, um, First of all, there was a recent vid that we had posted, and this recent vid that we had posted was concerning um, the internal judgment. Not of the internal judgment, I see. Uh, let's get our scripture right here, right? Okay, so let's go to uh, Peter, Peter's Wengel, or Peter's Gospel. So we go to Peter's... Um, well, actually, Peter's epistle, right? It goes to the epistle of uh, Peter. Um, it will be the first general epistle of Petros, Petros, Peter, the Apostle Peter. And this is chapter 4. Now, chapter 4 is a continuation from the part 1. And the Schofield has some pretty good notes that helps one to um, understand the teachings, you understand uh, the, the the doctrine, because everything has to connect. And when it does connect, it makes a beautiful a beautiful picture. There's a beautiful symmetry to it. Now, concerning Rastafari as the elect, one of our nine brethren had said, and the internal judgment. What is this internal judgment? And in my um, reasoning, previous posting, I mentioned it, but I don't think I mentioned the verse. So what we're going to do right here is go to the area and the verse. And here, this is um, First Peter, um, First Peter chapter four. So brethren and sisterin, get your Bible, Holy Scripture, as some of our elementers caduce, name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hadu Amlak, and now let's get into this particular area right here. So here we have um, 1 Peter chapter 4. Now, there's a whole context. Notice, if you look at the scripture, we're going to go to verse, um, verse actually 17 that begins down here and continues up here. But the chapter actually begins over here. So we have all of this going to over here, all right? So we're going to go through that detail a little bit later uh, afterward, but let's just get to the direct the direct point that we had in mind at that time, but we didn't um, bring the scripture into evidence concerning this internal judgment. We said the judgment must first happen amongst I and I. You know, saying if we truly are the house of the living God, as the Rastafari, the prophecy concerning the king of kings and his Christ and I and I indicates very clearly and we haven't found any evidence to the contrary but for most Gentiles or most people in the Gentile world mindset of course you know they think it's because of the herb that we're smoking or something else or because of our love of um, his majesty and yes we do love Kadamawi Haila Shalase however that's not that's not all. You know, and the fullness of it is that the prophecy is right and exact concerning we as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. So here in the scripture at um, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17, it says, For the time is come that judgment, that judgment, right, must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Christ? Question mark. So now that's very, that's very, very important to understand right there. Now, as we said, there's a whole chapter, and this is part two continues. So let's go over this chapter, because I like to put matters in proper context. So let's try to go over this particular chapter right here, right now, right? So we'll begin from the first verse, okay? And here it says, For as much then as Christos, the Moshiach, the Moshiach, the Mashiach, 
hath suffered for us, for I and I in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So we're told here and we're instructed to arm ourselves, not so much physically only, but first and primarily to arm ourselves, right? It says to arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. So there's, there's a certain mentality, a certain way of thinking. When we talk about the repentance and, and the metanoia and to be born again and get into the root, the key words, whether it's in the Septuagint Greek, whether it's in the Masoretic Hebrew, whether it's in the Royal Amharic, the pure language um, of our divine heritage, or we go to the very root, the Ethiopic, we still find the, the same idea, you understand, being made very clear concerning being born again, having a change of mind. You understand, having a change of mind for our mind. Now, let's understand that in the scriptures, the mind is the soul, right? In the scriptures, the mind is, the mind is related to the soul, right? So when we say nes, nes, um, or in the Hebrew nefesh, we're saying soul. Now, in the Greek, we say psyche or suke. Now, what's interesting right here is that what is the soul? The soul is the mind, um, the, 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 the feeling, the emotion, the will. Let's understand that. So when we speak about our soul, within the soul is the mind, is, is the feeling or emotion, as well as the will. So when our mind is affected, our soul is affected. When our will is affected, our soul is affected. When our emotions, our feelings and thoughts are affected, our soul is affected. So right here it's saying, let us arm ourselves with the same mind, for he that hath suffered in the flesh, he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from khatiyat. In other words, he who overcomes, in other words, the fleshy, you know, the fleshy, this is why we as Rastafari say fireborn, or carnal mind. But we have to understand exactly in what context are we speaking. Because if it's unbiblical, a lot of folks hurt themselves because they hear flesh and they figure, oh, I got flesh, and they start doing all sorts of strange things that are not ordained or taught or instructed in this word. This is why the word is so very, very important. And the teachings of His Majesty Kedemawi Haile Selassie also reminds, as he says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. So, so that in itself should be wana wana. It should be the main thing, you understand, in the uppermost of each faithful and true Rastafari's heart and mind. We as the elect, okay, we with the namesake, we who carry that namesake, we who carry that glory, that kubr, that kubr, that honor. All right? Now, it says that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust, to the lust of men, but to the will of God. Now, this, this matches what we have in the speech of Kedemawi Hala Selassie concerning, concerning religion, where he says to make our wills obedient, obedient to good influences, is to show the the greatest, the greatest wisdom. And in order to um, follow this aim, one must be guided by hymenos. One must be guided by the living faith. Or in translation, what's known, or Gentile translation, what's known as, quote, religion. Now, a lot of folks, they say, oh, I don't do religion, it's a way of life, so from and so on. Okay, that's cool for English. But if we're Rastafari, then we have to be into our pure language. You understand? And we have to get to the root of it. Because Rastafari itself is not a translation. Rastafari itself is the original, is the real deal. In order to understand, well, what does Rastafari mean? We have to go to the root. We have to go to the source. We have to go to the language, which is, for us, the half of the story that hasn't been told to us in this Western um, Gentile so-called um, cult or culture. What I'm going to do right here is go to the Alam, uh, the Mi'raf Ma'ucha, and I'm going to go with the 
Aris Kidan and bring up first Peter Andenya Petrosa Malukut Kutel Arat chapter four. I'm gonna get the scripture I'm using the Yot uh, program right here on the computer next to I and I so I can just compare. So Bamarinya, these two verses, verse one and verse two says Christos and Besiga Selenya Makran Selitic Abla Kangadia Wadi Besiga Litonoru Bekare Lachu Zemin in the Egazi Abi Harafek Adinji in the So Minyo Tendatinoru in Ante Degmo Yan Asab in the Ikat or other Gachu Yazut Besiga Makran Yetek Abla now, when it said mind, in this sense right here, that's what I was thinking about, even though the soul does relate to the mind, but here we have the word asab. Asab. Asab comes from asabe bamarinya, which means, or hasabe in the is which means to, to think, the thinking process, or the meditation. You know, when we speak about meditation, our thinking, what, how are our thoughts, and what the, do our thoughts gravitate to the spiritual, or do our thoughts gravitate to the, to the, to the um, physical and the worldly? This is very important for us to 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 recognize in ourselves. Now, verse three says right here. It says, bin fakat bet." Be medaratina, be sagaminyotim, be sakarima, be zefenim, yale lik, be met et ata noorim, balabait, bet a ot mamleka yete melale sala, yete melale sachu bet, yale fo zemina yibek alina. It says, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Now, one thing I, I, I wanted to say this earlier, but reading this part in Huaria, in Huaria um, um, uh, Petros, who was Kepha, or the Apostle Peter's um, Melikut in his epistle. It's interesting because uh, Petros is a Hebrew. Now, Huaria Paolo says that he was called to go forward to the Gentiles and to those Hebrews who were amongst the Gentiles. Now, here it's interesting because Petros, right? Petros is, the, is, is, is an apostle to the Hebrews and the Gentiles, but mainly he's coming from a, a, a Hebraic perspective. I want us to keep that in mind because my brethren... Um, and I, I took some notes down from the text message because you said you said um, you asked the question about um, on Wakilanakani. Mm. Now, yeah, you asked the question. Uh, it says Gentile Rastafarians are different from Gentiles in the EWS. Um, we, the black people, in my view, you said I and I, the BP, black people should be the ones taking care of black people business. Then you ask, are all the Rastafarians going to be living in Ethiopia? Then in another text message after the thunderstorm, it was interesting, because we felt some of that thunderstorm last night up, up this way, too, coming from the VA, coming from um, the D.C. area, past kind of just clipping New York, and it was it was really a Jano, you said Nyabingi is less organized, but has, but has struck, has stuck, has stuck to the true teachings, which is very, very interesting. That the Nyabingi may be less organized, in, in, in our observation compared to some of the other orders, or, you know, but compared to the Federation having a constitution and bylaws, and so forth and so on, but has stuck to the true teachings. Now, 
the point about the Gentile Rastafarians being different from Gentiles in the EWF is a very interesting point, and we wanted to really go into some more nuances on that. But the main thing we wanted to touch on was to respond to that particular, to, to respond to this. Give me a moment. I think the window's open and the fly got a fly, Belzebub, we'll get on that kind of name. Fly had got in here. Let me burn some, burn some ice and... All right, so here's what, here's what we wanted to say, all right? Um, now, when we compare now this particular verse, this particular verse... Oh, let's... Hold on for one moment. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had just a heat wave up here, and one of the windows doesn't have a screen in it, and some of these people around here deal with debtors, you know, some restaurants in the area. Um, on the Sabbath morning, you could actually smell, smell the nasty debtors, and so we have to really get to bunning, you know, get to bunning the um the ancients and everything like that. But anyway, be that as it may, um, here's the point right here. This particular part right here where it speaks about for the time, for the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles. Mm. What does that, what does that mean to I and I? Well, it says for the time past of our life it might satisfy us. In other words, before I and I was Rastafari or consciously Rastafari, we did what the Gentiles wanted us to do. We lived like the Gentiles, we acted like the Gentiles, we thought like the Gentiles, but then when the light of Rastafari, and now what is that, what is that particular light of Rastafari? We also have that in the scriptures. If we return our Bibles to Isaiah, Let's go to Isaiah for a moment. Isaiah, and this is the verse that we have pointed out before in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter, chapter, uh, what is this, 8, 8 verses, verses, um, let's see, 9, um, verses 20, well actually, verse 16 says, Verse 16 says, Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 16. Bind up the testimony and seal the law among my disciples. Now, Revelation says that the overcomers, those who are the overcomers in this dispensation, are those who keep the law of God or the commandment of God and the testimony of Jesus Christus, of Yeshua HaMoshi, or Jesus Christ. Now, it's interesting when you compare that and meditate on that with Isaiah chapter 8, verses 16, and then when you compare that verse with verse 20 in the same chapter, it says, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light or there is no divine illumination in them. So, using that right there to say that, when the light of Rastafari, that light coming from the east and shining to the west, as in Mateus Wengel or Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, that light now has brought us into a, a new order of reality. We have to make a change, a conscious change. Some folks don't make that conscious change, they just go along with the flow. But it's very important to do these things consciously. You understand to 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 um, use the affirmation and denial, the yay yay or the nay nay. Not to make it yay and nay. That leads to double mindedness, and that leads to a whole other set of um, spiritual and even mundane complexities. And and a lot of our people, or a lot of the lost sheep of our people, are in that double mindedness state. And now. What Babylon is doing for sorcery and witchcraft, it is diagnosing folks as um, bipolar schizophrenic. You understand? And that may be their diagnosis, but 
there's a deeper spiritual reality behind that. The Bible now tells us that this bipolarism, basically, is 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 another is another um, aspect of uh, of 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 not just sin, but of a demonic kind of superimposition because one has not fully decided for the world and they have not fully decided for Jah. So they are caught up in the middle. And, and, and that indecision now, you understand, it allows entry for other type of um, spiritual forces and also strange circumstances in one's and one's life and really could lead to a, a, a soul a soul destruction, a destruction of the psyche. So when it says right here, for the time past of our life may have sufficed us to have wrought the will, to have done the will of the Gentiles, right? When we walked in lasciviousness and lust and excess of wine and revelings, revelings you find in um, 1 Peter 4 and 3, revelings, excuse me, revelings like the parties, banquetings, all these kind of uh, thing coming up is the so-called um, fraud of July. The fraud of July is coming up in a couple of days as well. And abominable idolatries. Now we have, you know, these idol shows are popular shows and even folks who consider themselves to be so-called good Christians who may object to the kind of Bolson, they have no problem with these idolatrous shows and still they feel that they're good Christians because they still are living in the will of the Goyim, of the Gentiles, and not in the will of the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. That's just the fact of that matter. Kutel Arat. Let's go to verse 4 because this is what we really love to do, go chapter by chapter and verse by verse. It's very important to go chapter by chapter and verse by verse and really to teach the Word, to learn the Word and to teach the Word. You know, and this is what in, in our gatherings and groundations, similar to groundations, when we used to really have groundations, as Rastafari, which were like our Bible studies, fellowship, and church, churchical, all wrapped up in, in one. Kutar Arat says, Verse 4 says, Bezihim neger wadazia madara to bezat kanar sugar sle mata rotu ye tesadabu ye denekalu ye denekalu. He says, Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess. Notice this point about excess when I mention excess of wine. So it's not saying wine is bad like the cannabosum. The 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 the, the, the anabosum is not bad, mm -hmm. but in what context are you partaking? You understand? Know it's in what context you are partaking, as well as it's in moderation. You understand? Know it's in moderation. But if it is properly rooted and grounded, such as wine drinking, and we use the wine as a as a comparison in this new dispensation to the Anabosum to the cannabis. Now, it says that there be people who would think, you know, when you when you finally make that decision, and this might be what 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 is challenging a lot of y'all and a lot of other ones that y'all are hearing the truth and, and and you're seeing you're seeing that it's real for yourself, but you're thinking about the other folks around you. You're thinking about the Gentiles. You understand either those black people or lost sheep who live like Gentiles or the Gentile Gentiles. You understand? And you think that if I stop going along with them and really go, as they say, full tilt Rastafari and, and full tilt about the covenant, the Al Kidan, as Ethiopian Hebrews, they're gonna think I'm strange. If I go full tilt about Yeshua, one's gonna think something strange with I because I'm not running with them. You know, not, and it's interesting, the language is similar to how we talk. Well, so-and-so is not running with so-and-so anymore. What happened? Oh, they, 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 you know, they're not running together. You see, it's the same kind of idea there. Kutar Amis, verse 5, it says, Gin, Gin, but, or however, 
እነርሱ በህያዋንና በሙታን ላይ ያለፈረደ ለተዘጋጀው መልስ ይሰጣሉ who shall give account to him that is ready but who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick which means the living the hiyawan na and the dead the mutan lai li fard let us gajo mels an answer what answer you know for for the way for for what you do or how you live do you really have an answer you know once you come to the knowledge of the truth do you really have an answer do you really have a so called excuse knowing what you know if you continue to do what you do you understand recognizing the light the illumination the word which brings that light and illumination now verse good uh, so this says in the soch the siga in the uh, farad patch the men saskin in the xiavi here in the noru aslazi mekniyata wengel le mutan degmo tesabko alacho nabarna it says for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead it's interesting because we're speaking about uh, korah in this particular 38th torah portion reading and feeding from the torah rastafari um send bit salam sabbatical studies here it says that the gospel was preached to them that are dead now in what context are we saying the dead i mean do people go to the cemetery and preach the gospel to people who no i don't really see it i don't think you do i don't think we've heard about that but it's speaking about those who are living dead you understand or they animated but they do not have the true life that they might be judged according to men in the flesh but live according to god in the spirit it's like i and i we might be judged by people in the flesh for even um aspects or elements of our liberty such as the kanabosa such as the kwandala or the locks so forth and so on or our our love of kadamawi haila shalasi of haila salasi first however we are living according to ja in the spirit but it says darugin ye neger hulu mecharsha karboal but the end of all things is at hand and it's very obvious that we're coming to an end of this dispensation even in this 2012 with all of the pronostication and predictions concerning 2012 december was that 21st 2012 something like that it says um be ye therefore sober mhm it says be ye therefore sober make i not be sober right not drunken be sober and watch and be diligent it says to prayer in gadi in the bale amro aspu now the part about um um the next part about watch and prayer be diligent to watch and prayer is actually contained in the next line house divided by morenya and kutel cement it says to alium zen so as you all to pray be met and in measure nuru live in measure you know is live in a a discipline a spiritual discipline you understand it says fikr ye khatiatin bizat ye shafanalna kohulu befit arsbarsachu at ibkachu te wadadu te wadadu says above all things have fervent charity the word te wadadu te wadadu means love one another in fact that's a word that we need to pick up te wadadu te wadadu te wadadu means like wadada you hear wadada te wadadu means for you all to love each other for us to love each other in ja to love each other in yeshua to love each other in kadamawi haila shlase fikr ya khatiatin bizat ya shafna lina for it says charity in your bible you'll find it says charity but that word charity if you look it up it's really fikr it's really love 
for charity shall cover a multitude of sins. Now, it's interesting if you look at that particular verse. I think it's here in the Schofield. It probably has it here. Charity shall cover a multitude of sins. And let's see if it's here. It's from Proverbs. You know what I'm saying? It's from Proverbs. Love covers a multitude of sins. Right? In the book of Proverbs, it says, Use hospitality one to another without grudging. Use hospitality. Yale man guragur. Yale man guragur. Erstersachu. In a good good netin. In a in a good netin. Take a babalu. Use hospit. Receive each other. Kabbalah each other with hospitality. Now this basis is is how on the true churchical foundations. Now of course we've gone a little bit away from the original question that we was. Well, it wasn't really so much a quite. It was the brother asked I and I. Let's just get. I would note of what um, Wendem Wendem Man Manley said. He said uh, um, concerning okay, you, you asked about the Bobo Shanti, the Bobo Trinity doctrine. How is that addressed? And we want to address that. But I think what we want to really speak on first of all is is the first point is the internal judgment. So this particular um, chapter here in um, Andenya Petros Melikit or first, uh, the epistle of 1 Peter, verse 17, is where it tells us, it tells us, for the time has come that judgment must, must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not? Those who don't obey the wengel. You understand? Those who don't obey the good news, the good news of God. All right. Now we're at verse um, verse ten. We, we, we're making our way up to verse seventeen. Be patient, brothers and sisters. Let's go through this. So, Kuter Kuter Aser Kuter Aser, verse ten. Liu Liun ye egziabi hervena sega degaga mega biwocha in the mahonachu. Yandanda chua yes egana sit ota in the tekabalachu met en in the tekabalachu met en beziawas ega arusbarsachu a galiglu a galiglu as every one or a galiglu as every man hath received the gift. So every man has received his gift. Each one of I and I have I and I respective gifts of Jah. As every man has received the gift or has received gifts or a gift, even so minister, in the words serve, serve, erspersachu, agel galu, agel galu, agel galu, serve. That means we serve, right? Even so minister or serve the same one to another as good stewards as good stewards and the word for steward megabi which means means feeders but megabi a megabi is also a manager a manager so it's i and i i won't say contention but i and i um maintain that if we were to ground ourselves more on the divine our divine heritage then these other roles and responsibilities, whether it's federation, whether it's um, uh, 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 settlements or building Africa, establishing communities, agriculture, um, unions, or w on whatever particular level, we'll be able to fulfill that because we will have the important thing, and that's the spree, the spirit, of the body or the spree the core this, this is why the divine heritage is so very very important kut asaraan verse 11 says manim so yeminagar bihon in the egzial herkal yinagar yemiya galeglim bihon egzial her the miset en hailno below ya galegl 
Kuburna Sultan Iskaz Lalem Dress Le Arsu Abe Mihono Be Jesus Christos Bekul Egziavihir Benegar Hulu Ye Kabur Zen Amen. Now it's interesting, this really now we, we can see it as a prayer. Whenever you have that Amen there, it almost connotates a, a prayer. It says, If any man speak, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God, as the oracles, as the words of God. You remember 37 refers to oracles of God, and that was the last week's sabbatical or Shabbat Torah portion. Oracles, the word of God. So if any of us speak, right, if any of us speak, and it's not talking about just speaking in, in the so-called church, you know what I mean? It's not just talking about speaking in the, the area that is overtly name holy because we are to be kudus. So it means that if we are to speak or dialogue, even about these mundane matters, we have to speak as the word of God, as the word of Jah speaks. If any man minister, that means if anyone seeks to serve in any capacity, let him do it as of the ability the ability which Jah giveth, that Jah, or God, in all things may be glorified through. Here's the key for us, is Rastafari. That yes, we glorify Abatachin, Abu Kedus, Kedus Abatachin. But it's through Jesus Christos, because this is Kalu. This is the oracle. Ye Egziavihir, in the Egziavihir, Kal Yinagar, below. This is what it says, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now, it's interesting because in the preface of His Majesty's um, autobiography, he uh, he says, he quotes uh, John 15 and 5, Without me, ye can do nothing. Without Jesus Christos, Jesus Christos, Yeshua HaMoshiach, is a very, very important part of the Ras Tefari equation. Very important part of our divine heritage. And this verse right here in um, Peter, uh, 1 Peter 4 and 11, reminds us of that. Mm. Kuter Asara Asara Hulet, verse 12. Wada Joch Hoi, Wada Joch. O lovers, O beloved, beloved ones, really lovers or friends, Wada Joch Hoi. Benante Makakel, in the Satalia Fetanach, Sile Mihono Mekra Dink Negarinda Metabacho At Deneku At Deneku. In other words, beloved, think it not strange. Don't think it strange. Don't think it amazing. Don't be amazed concerning the what? The fiery trial in the Isat Lia Fetanacho. Right? The fiery trial which is to try you, the fiery trial, which is to try you, not just the outer fire, but really the inner fire of, of spirit. Because remember the word, according to Aramius, uh, Aramius, um, Tinbete Aramius, it says that his word, John's word, is a consuming fire. It's like shut up in my bones. I cannot, I cannot contain it. I cannot hold it. So John's word, is a fire. So it's telling us in this epistle here of our brother um Hawaria Petros or Kefa Peter, uh first Peter chapter four, when we connect verse eleven, the sense of verse eleven to the sense of verse twelve where it says the fiery trial, remember it says that if any man speak, right? If any man speak, let him speak as the what? As the oracles of God. Manam so ye minagar bihon in the egziavir kal yinagar. Let him speak as the oracles of God. Then it says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the what? The fiery trial, which is to try you as though something, as though something strange, 
as though something strange or something amazing happened. So we're not to be amazed by these things if we are rooted and grounded in and on the Word. This is why study of the Word is so very vital and so very important. You understand? In the first, in the first instant, it's for our soul. You understand? It's, it's for our confidence. It's for our frame of mind. It's for our peace. You understand? So that we can have peace within and peace with peace with the sustainer, peace with Jah in and through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. Getachi. Verse 13, Kuter Asra Sos, it says, Negergin Kubru Ligelit Degmo Hashetayadergachu Desendilachu Be Christos Mekra Bemit Kafalubet Lik Des Yibelachu. It says, But rejoice. So when these things happen, it's telling us also how we are to react. See, see when, it's, when, it, when, when the Bible speaks about work, it says the work, Yeshua says to us that the work of God is to believe, is to admit, to have amen. You understand? To, to, to focus on the amen, which is Yeshua, so we can have that imnet. You understand? That imnet. You see, he's the object of our faith, so we can have that subject of faith within us. And the subject of faith is the most important subject. You understand? But there's a certain work, because when these strange trials, when situations come, do we normally rejoice? In fact, it almost seems, as they say, counterintuitive to rejoice. People say, well, how can you rejoice? Mm -hmm. Folks say, how can you rejoice at a time like that? You know, how can you rejoice when such and such is going on? Because if any man is to speak, what does it say? Let him speak as the oracles of God. Manam so yaminagar bihon in the exiavi herkal yinagar. Yinagar. In the exiavi herkal. In the nukusa neges kal. Yinagar. In the abukadus kal. Yinagar. Speak. You understand? See, when we do that, then we will be able to rejoice. Even in the tribulation. And see, when we keep that joy in our heart, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we keep Christ, his word in our heart and in our mind, then it's the spirit of Egeziah, the spirit, the Memphis Gedus, it assists us. It's in the Holy Spirit assists us, and it gives us that joy because we recognize, wow, <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> yeah. You, you know what I mean? Because it's, but rejoice in as much. Now, see, here's the key. Here's the key right here. In as much, you know, I, I talk about this a lot within different lectures, and, I, and I'll speak about this again here because it's very important, something that I've learned, and as I've learned it and I act on it, I begin to see the reality. You know, saying, you know the, the reality of it. When it says to us, but rejoice in as much, people say there's, there's God, the love of God is unconditional. Mm-hmm. The contemptible gospel, the evil angel, so-called evangelicals, and other so-called pseudo-Christians with another gospel, a whitewashed gospel, they try to say, well, the love of God is of our conditions. Not all of them, but many of them do. Many of them say this, that, that there's no condition to it. But they will slip in, you've got to tithe, you've got to send your tithe and your offerings they, they, they'll, they'll slip that one in there. If you want to be blessed, you've got to send your, us your tithes and your offerings. If you don't, then they'll go to Old Testament on you. Then they'll tell you, well, we're not in the Old Testament no more, but they'll go back to the Old Testament. So, so a lot of folks don't really get it at first because they don't really know better. As we say, you cannot tell what a counterfeit dollar bill is if you've never seen a real one. You see what I'm saying? If you've seen a real dollar bill, then it becomes very easy and distinguishable. Oh, that's a counterfeit right there. But if you've never seen the real thing, in Kedamawi Haila Shalase, we see and we know the real thing. You know, that which is real. Here it says, but rejoice. Why? In as much, according to. According to what? In as much. And see, see, see this is what's very interesting. The Christos Mekra Bemita Kafalubet Lik 
decibelach. You understand? According to the measure that you are a partaker of the sufferings of the black Messiah. How much are you a partaker of the suffering? A lot of times we say, chant, man, I and I going through tribulation, man. I've been trying to crucify I and I. And sometimes it really does, according to our experience, really does feel like that. That's the perception of it. But how many of us connect this with Yeshua's suffering? Do we connect it with Yeshua's suffering? We think it's just something we're going through or it's, 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 it's them people or those, these or those that are doing this or that to I and I. But do we really perceive it the way the word says right here where it says, it says, but rejoice in as much according to the measure, you know what I'm saying, according to the measure that you are a partaker. Are you a partaker? You know what I'm saying? Do you partake in Christos Mekra? Do you understand what Christos is Mekra, what his sufferings were? That when his glory, when his glory should be and shall be revealed. You understand? Kubru si gelet kubru, his glory, his 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 honor, his glory, his his shekinah, his kavod, when it shall be revealed. Ye, you all, and I and I and I may be glad. You know what I'm saying? May be glad. Heshet yadaragachu. Desendilachu. We will be glad. You know what I'm saying? You may be glad. You may be glad also with exceeding, exceeding joy. The heshet. The heshet is exceeding joy. It's, it's it's like when we call it Irie, we, we call it Irie in the sense of Rastafari. Uh, the, the Ethiopic calls it the Heshet. Some will say Haset, but it's really Heshet. Heshet yadare gachu, desindi lachu, kuter asara arat. So we've got to meditate these things. You understand this? Well, we've got to hear the word. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just doing a, a, a teaching on certain points, we say, let's do the teaching the way we like to really learn and study the word ourselves. When I and I received, I and I call, I said, well, what am I, how am I to communicate what you have shown me to my brothers and sisters? And he says, the same way you have been shown these things. And I, I had to medit meditate for a moment, put it together, said, okay. Reading through the word, going through it verse by verse, chapter by chapter, phrase by phrase, comparing the sense with the sense of the word and seeing the reality of it. You understand? In spirit and in truth. You understand? Because he has put that spirit, remember, he has written this word in our hearts. We already have this word already written in us, but there's a wall. The Bible calls that wall chatiyat. It calls it sin. It calls it lacking. Lacking of what? Lacking of that, of that knowledge and that acceptance, that receptivity. You understand? Because the original sin was ignorance. You understand what Adam and uh, Hawan, Adam and Hawan did? Adam and Eve, our first, um, we could say, mythological or scriptural or biblical parents, what they did, that was ignorance. That was very ignorant, but yet we still do those type of ignorant things because we're apart from Christos. So when we, when we return, when we repent, when we have a change of mind, you see, and this is a very, very personal thing. I can preach on this. I can share my own testimonies, but each of y'all have to check it out for yourself. You have to spend that time, like we say, um, spend that time in the prayer house, as it were. Spend that time in the meditation as you, as you can find the time to meditate upon the word, to pray and to, and, and, and to really get to know the truth for yourself. Because he says, Yeshua, get touching Jesus, Adonai says, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Kuter, 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 asara, arat, sila Christos sim, bitter nek efu. Ye kubur menfes, ye egiziari her menfes, be nantelai, yar falena, bitu on nacho, bitu on nacho. If ye be reproached, if you be reproached, mm -hmm. 
for the name of Christos, for the name of the black Messiah, for the name of Yeshua, for the name of Rastafari, the new name of Rastafari. What's the word says is happy are ye. But see, a lot of us, that's not how we're reacting. Because we're not in Christos. We, we're not rightly set in Christos, our heart and our mind and our faith. That's the work right there. You understand? Know to believe or to really understand that word in the context of the Ethiopic, to have trust, have confidence, ha ha have living faith to admit as truth, to admit it as truth, to receive that word and admit that word as truth. Happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of Egeziahir and of Jah resteth upon you. Then that spirit of Jah, the, we call it the Iret within Rastafari. Bamarinya, we call it the Menfes, the Menfes Kedu, so the, in, in the Patois, the Isla Iret. But overstand that Menfes Kedu, the Ruach Kodesh, the spirit of glory and of God. Resteth it rest upon I and I. Now, to really understand this whole idea of spirit is interesting too, and even the connection of spirit with oil. You understand the, the, the word spirit with oil, because in the Old Testament, the anointing and the oil was a symbol of the spirit. So put that down for your notes and, and do a little bit of study on it. It's very, very interesting. There's a lot of different ones who have meditated on that and presented some really interesting reasonings in Christ. You know, our other um, brothers and sisters, whether they are uh, black or white or Jew or Gentile, you understand, know Ethiopian or Roman, it, if they're in Christ, then that spirit testifies and the testimony, it agrees. And if it agrees with this word, then it's true. You understand, if it doesn't, then it doesn't matter. We don't judge by appearance. We judge by righteousness. Let's understand that. So it says that happy are, are we because the spirit of glory and of Jah, it rests upon I and I and I and I. On their part, on their part, he, speaking of Yeshua, the son, but also speaking of Kedus Abatachin, speaking of Kedemawi Haile Shalase, Haile Shalase the first. You understand? He is evil spoken of. Now, we, we know all you have to do is do a little Google on the Internet. You see how evilly Kedamawi Haile Selassie or Haile Selassie first is spoken of in many places, right? But on your part, on your part, on I and I part, he is glorified. He is honored. <laughs> you understand? Know he is glorified. He is honored. So that too is a meditation because many times a lot of a lot of um, we get certain testimonies of ones and ones going through tribulation, just seeking to declare the truth of Rastafari and and, and the truth of Christ and, and and our Ethiopian Hebrew, you understand, know um, divine heritage. You know they go through many tribulations with so-called fleshy, you know, with the fleshy folks around them and, and other people in the world. You understand? And they hear a lot of evil speaking against His Majesty, against Kedemawi Haile Selassie. You understand? But on I and I part, He is glorified. But w w what's the active thing to do in, 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 that it says here? It says, we are blessed. It says, through, happy are ye. When it says happy are ye, it's a bit too on, bit too on. You understand? Happy in the sense of, 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 a, of a special blessing. You understand? We are bit too on. We are the bit too on. If we can come to that daraja, you understand, that level, that when we're in those circumstances, you understand, we have faith in the word and we act, you understand, in spirit and in truth. So when they reproach the name of Rastafari, I and I is blessed. His spirit and his glory, it rests on us. Though so they speak evil of him. You understand? Um, we glorify him. Verse 15, Kut er Asra Amis. It says, Kernante Manam Nefs Gudai Woim Leba Woim Kufu Adaragi in the Mihon Woim. Beleloch Gudai in the Mia Gabba Hono Mekran Aik Abel Mekran Aik Abel 
But let none of you suffer. Let none of you receive tribulation as a murderer. So they don't feel, because they do this to I and I, God Father, they do this to the Father and the Son. You know and they do this to I and I. Make none of I and I suffer as a murderer, like, like we murdered somebody, or as a thief, like we didn't steal nothing from them. They're stealing glory from Jah. Or as an evil doer, they are evil doers conspiring against his majesty. Or as a busy body in other men's matters, like so much of the Gentiles are dealing with. You understand? Um, don't let, we, we're not to receive that. You know what I'm We're not to receive Mekra as though that's what we, we be about. You're not to receive it. The, the key thing here is, it says, Mekran Ayyikabel. Ayyikabel. Don't receive. Don't Kabbalah that. You know what I'm saying? We don't Kabbalah that. There's no, you know, that's like illogical in a sense. You know what I'm That has no value. We don't receive it. You know? So it's important because this is it's teaching us the state of mind that we are to have. What state? Remember from the very beginning, what thought, what thinking, what thought we're supposed to have. From the very first verse where it says, For as much then as Christos have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. It says to do what? Arm yourselves. You understand? I mean, if I were to say, arm yourselves with, with a nine, Arm yourself with a Uzi, with a tech, with a this or that. You know, arm yourself with a stick, or arm yourself with a knife, arm yourself with a sword. You, you understand that. But here it's saying to arm ourselves with the same mind. The, the first and important aspect, even of the warrior, is the warrior state of mind. And we're to be good soldiers. You understand? Good soldiers of Yeshua HaMoshia. So it's a state of mind. And each of us has a personal responsibility. You know, Haimenot Yegilno. Hagaragin Yegarano. Each of us has a personal Yegil, Gilawi. You understand? Response. Halafinet. Responsibility. Mm-hmm. Kuter Asara. Asara Siddhis, it says, Christian in the Mion Gin. Mekran, Bik Ebel, Silezi Sim, Exiavi Herin, Ya Mesagen, Ya Mesagena Inji, Aifer, Aifer. It says, Yet if any man suffer, if anyone does suffer as a, as a Christian, and that means for us with a new name as a Rastafari, as Rastafari. Because the true Christ man is Ketamawi Haila Shilase, Haila Selase first. So if any of I and I suffer as a Rastafari, which is to say a true Christian in this dispensation, let him not be ashamed. No, don't be ashamed about it. Don't be ashamed, but let him glorify God. So when we are going through those sufferings, we have to glorify Jah. See, that's the key with the praise Jah, Egeziavi Harin. Ya Mesigen, Ya Mesigen, you know saying, Ya Mesigen Inji, you know saying, I fer, I fer, we are not to be ashamed, but we are to glorify Jah on this behalf. So, so when those things happen because of this, this is how we are to spiritually receive our strength, you understand, by having faith and acting on that word in spirit. And in truth, in reality. Now, here's the Kuter, here's Kuter, the verse, Kuter Asara uh, Sabat, or verse 17. It says, Ferd Kegziavir Beit Tenesto Yemia Jamar Rebet Gize Dor Soadena Ask Edmond Benya Yemia Jamar Kohone Le Egziavir Wengir. Yemai Tazazu Mecharashacho Minyon. It says, Ferd. It says, Judgment. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Ferd Kegziavi Herbeta Teneshto. But now, let me, let me clarify something in this translation, because many of you all are familiar with this particular verse. Mm. Let me clarify something in this particular translation right here, in the translation of the King of Kings in our pure language. 
in the Suk on Qua, it says right here, it says, Far judgment ka exiavi herbait tenesto ka from exiavi herbait from the house of God tenesto. Tenesto, it rises up. It's almost like it resurrects. It rises from the house of God. That judgment, in a sense, it begins at the house of God. You understand? Not so much in the sense that we're to say, oh, I and I to be judge because I and I is at the house of Jah, the house of God. No. It's saying that it rises, in the sense, it rises, yemi jammer bet gizay dar soal, when the when it begins, beginning in that time, for for it, it, it comes from the house of God, from I and I, you know, saying rising up that judgment. It says askedmon, you understand? Know first or previously benya, beinya, amongst I and I, beinya. You understand? Know benya rastafar yawiyan, beinya chop yawiyan. Be'inya is lawiyan. It says, Be'inya, yemi jamar kohone. And if it starts, if it starts in us, you understand? If it starts in us. Now, remember everything that has come before in this particular chapter. That's why we said it was important to go over that so we can see the context of this particular verse. And not just lift this verse out of its context, but see it. In and according to his context, it says, Le egeziavi herwengil, ye mai tazazu, for God's gospel, for, for, the, for, for the good news of his majesty, you understand, and his Christ, for the gospel of God. It's not saying just the gospel of Jesus. It's not saying the gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Here it is saying to us the gospel of Jah. That means Jah himself has a gospel, right? And the gospel of Jah is Joshua or Yeshua, Jesus Christus, our black Lord and Savior, the Mushiach. It says, Le exiavi her wengil ye mai tazizu. Ye mai tazizu. Those who don't obey. Because azeze means to command. So those who don't obey the commands that which the gospel says to do. You understand? Be of the same mind. Those who don't obey that. You understand? For le exiavi her wengeli my tazazu macharashacho. Their end. Their finish. Their end. Macharashacho. Not fitzamiacho. Not their perfection. But macharashacho. Their end. Stop. Their, their stop. Their end. Min What will it be? What will it, what will it be like? You understand? What will it be like? So, in other words, if we ourselves must get our house, you understand, in order. You understand? And there will, will be judgment. And if it needs to be judgment, there must be judgment. Because that is all connected with his oracle. That's connected with his word. You understand? That's connected with his word. There are conditions here. Verse 18, Kuta Asara Cement, it says, Ad Kim Bechink Yemidin Kahone. It says, and if the righteous, if the tzaddik, if the one who is tzaddik, if the one who is righteous in each of us, in and through Yeshua, Hamoshi, to the glory of Kedusa Abaytachin, is righteous. Our righteousness is Yeshua is our black Lord and Savior. Jesus is our righteousness before the Abba, before the Father. But it says here, if the righteous scarcely, the chink yemidin kohone. In other words, chink in difficulty. You understand? If the righteous in difficulty is saved, if the righteous in difficulty, so when we have a difficulty, remember, we're righteous, but even we go through these anxieties and difficulties scarcely, be saved. And nothing that we will not, but it's speaking about the difficulty, even for the righteous, even with Yeshua. You understand? Because they have to conform to Yeshua. It says, Amit and Yawna, the rebel, and the Hatiatinyaw, and the sinner, or the ungodly, and the sinner, where they chitais and Allah. Where they chitais and Allah. The answer to that would be at the, at, at, at the great white throne. 
That's where the ungodly and the sinner will appear. They can't come before the throne of grace. They can't come before the throne of mercy because they're without Yeshua. It's that righteous, those who have Yeshua, gain righteousness because Yeshua becometh before the Father righteousness. So we have acceptability before Abba, not because of anything that we do, but because of Yeshua, because of our faith in Yeshua, our love of Jesus and our conformity and obedience to him as our Adonai, as our Gita as our master and medicine and Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos. The final verse right here, Kuta Asara Zetain, verse 19 says, Silizi, therefore because of this, Silizi Degmo, in the Egeziavi Herfekad, Mekaranya Mikabalu, Melkamena Yadaragu, Nefsachuena letamene fetari adara yistu. It says, wherefore, well, because of this, you know saying, because of this, sile because of izi, this, sile zi, because of this degmo, and also because of this indegiziavir fekad, as the will of God, or according to the will of God, mekaran yemik ebalu. It says, wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Jah commit, commit. And, and, and this word commit is interesting. Adara yistu. Adara. Adara madir chidr means like to spend the night in a sense. You know, to spend the night, to, to board or to lodge. So it says, Adarayistu, concerning our nest, nefsachin, uh, nefsacho win, in this sense right here, it says, it says that let those that suffer, if we must go through Mekara, but it's the Mekara according to Jah's will. So we must learn what Jah's will is. And this is what, this is what, what creates our fraternity, yours and our brotherhood, yours and our sisterhood. Is those who seek to do the will of Abba, the will of the Father, of Abba Kedus. Silezi degmo in the Giziavi of Fekad, Mekarani Mikabalu, Melkamen Yadaragu. You know, saying good doing or doing good, you know, saying doing that which is Melkam, beautifully good and pleasing to the Father, Nefsachawin, their souls, Le Tamene Fetari to a faithful tamene, we say aras tamen, aras tamen, tamene means to be faithful, tamene, and at the root is amene, which, which from that comes the amen, right, tamene, le tamene fetari, to a faithful, right, creator, a faithful fetari, to a faithful fetari, their souls, adrayistu, to, to, Give their souls into the custody, you understand, to the faithful creator in doing good. So even if you're suffering according to the will of God, you still commit your soul, your soul. And what is your soul? Your soul is your, your mind, right? Your soul is your, 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 your feeling and your emotion, also connected with your mind and your thought, you understand, and, and your soul. Right, and your soul is your will. The will is also very important. These five or so, it, it all makes up your soul. So when we speak about our feeling and thought, you understand, it's connected to our soul, our suke, our nefs. When we're speaking about our will, you understand, our will is connected to our soul. So we are to commit to give our soul in the same sense as one would, if one has a child and someone is babysitting the child or you, you, you leaving your child somewhere overnight, you understand? That same kind of trust that one should have, you understand? Or to someone who is trustful, the act of, of giving it into one's custody or care, you understand? But what we're doing is our soul. We're, we are giving our soul into the hands of the Father. You understand? To the tamene fetari, to a faithful, a faithful creator. Amen. And
and Amen. Now, that right there is speaking about this dispensation, these times, and is touching on that so-called internal judgment. But we want to clarify that according to the, the Amarinya, according to the Revised Amharic Bible or the Arab, His Majesty, the Emperor's Bible, right, the, the Royal Amharic Bible, the Book of the Seven Seals, it clarifies that this judgment, when it's speaking about in verse 17, just to go over this one more time, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God or must begin from the house of God. So if you reason it with Ionized Rastafari in this present dispensation and, and all the different mansion and ones and ones, until we come to the unity of the knowledge right, of the knowledge of the Son of God. You know what I'm saying? Until we come to that unity, it, it is almost stating that the real judgment or the fulfilling of the judgment against this evil world system also is, I don't want to say delayed, but on a certain level, if the judgment must come from the house of God, and, and we are those, and we are those, and we are those at the house of God. Belzebub want to come by and, you know, take a listen and, and distract this message right here. But let's get this out. That we who are the house of God or the church, the Beta Rastafari or the Beta Christian within that dispensation and according to the scriptures, but in Rastafari revelation, we are that Beta Rastafari, but our roots is that Beta Israel, you know what I'm saying? Which to the Messiah is the Beta Christian. You, and in this time, we identify ourselves in the new name as the Beta Rastafari, or the church, in other words, a Rastafari, that judgment comes from and rises up. It begins, you understand? The time having, having reached, for the time has reached, that this is coming from the house of God. You understand? And if it first begin in us, you understand? And, and we recognize what, 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 what Peter is saying here in verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely, you know, scarcely be saved, that if, 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 if the righteous, even for the righteous to be saved, if that is a very difficult, but chink, but chink, it's, it's not an easy process, but it's, it's with difficulty, you understand, that a righteous one, through, through enough tribulation, it's like in Revelation when that multitude is coming out and they're dressing their white garments, I almost see it as the Ethiopian, the traditional, the holy Ethiopian garments, and the angels, and they say, well, who is this people? And it says, these are they who have come through great tribulation. And they have washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. And blood is, is a word that's symbolic for life. You understand? And, and, and when we study it, we can see the, 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 the spiritual layers of it. What, what the oracle of God is seeking to tell us by these particular words, and then you can meditate, well, how does it apply to, 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 to my life? What can I receive from this to strengthen me in my walk, you understand, with the King of Kings and his Christ? So there's a couple more questions. I know I didn't speak specifically to the question concerning the two other questions that we're trying to get into is the the Bobo Trinity doctrine addressing who's asked what do we say is you understand as well as the the Gentile Rastafarians I, I mentioned that a couple of uh, a few vids a few vids ago um, the Gentile Rastafarians are different from the Gentiles in the in the EWF and I do agree with uh, we the black people you understand um, should be about the black people business, or we, the black people, become and take on our divine heritage, 
as Ethiopians, our name and nationality, correcting our name and status so we're not just black people falling under 13th and 14th Amendment, but we are Ethiopians. Yo, since we're not under so-called civil rights, but we're under human rights. You understand? We're not artificial persons, but we are natural persons in that true and new birth in the, in the covenant. So we preserve and protect our, our birthright, but we have to reclaim our birthright. You understand? And learn how to live within covenant, within covenant. So those, are, those issues are also connected with the scriptures and teachings. And on the last point, um, when you ask about are the Rastafarians, are all the Rastafarians going to be living in Ethiopia? No, because it's Rastafari all over the world. You understand? But it's important for us, you understand, as, 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 the, as the seed, in other words, the seed people, and, and this diaspora, the lost sheep, to, to, to clarify the true gospel message so that the true teachings and preachings and, and, the, and the practices and the perfections can be made manifest, and then the Gentile Rastafari will be in their proper order. So part of their disorder is because the judgment, you know, must begin from the house. You know, and we say judgment, it shouldn't always be looked at as somebody is getting condemned. You see, because judgment is judgment, but judgment can lead to a condemnation or judgment can lead to an acquittal. So you have, to, you have to recognize that when we speak about judgment, it's in the balance. You understand? But it's, it, it is what is right and exact, what is proper, you understand, according to his will and not our will. But the Rastafari, you understand, the Rastafari is, 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 uh, is the earth is, is Jaws and the fullness thereof. But we as a particular people, we as this particular diaspora um, of the Beta Israel or the Falashas of the West in the Western Hemisphere, we have a very direct connection with Ethiopia should we, you know, should we choose and should one choose another African nation or another nation on the face of the earth, we still have to recognize the oracles of Jah, that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. But when you mention that the Nyabingi, Nyabingi is less organized but has stuck to the true teachings, I would say um, greatly so, per, most likely because Nyabingi is usually functional in the sense of giving praises and coming together in that sense even around the Bible and around the 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 the, 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 the eyes and the praises. So so it, it is it is more it is more almost like a gathering in that sense than you know than um a mansion in in in, in, in the same sense, if you if you can over what what I mean by that when you say the Bobo Bobo Shanty Mm, in, my, in my father's house is many mansions. You understand? So we know there's different man. There's the twelve tribes as 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 well. But the federation, what the federation is, the Ethiopian World Federation is, needs to be further clarified. And what Rastafari is also needs to be clarified. And then we can see the the, the connection and the interrelationship between the two, but we as Rastafari have a primary responsibility to, to be about our divine heritage, you know, and to be about that, that, that churchical, you know, and that churchical and even societal groundation. Because once we, we, we get to that, um, once we get to that uh, um, overstanding, then working out other tasks you understand, become, become easy, you understand. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, been a little bit um, long on this particular point, but i uh, got some other things I want to share with you. We're still in this, whew, this heat wave, so we just want to cool off for a moment on these hot lights and um, say shalom rastafari to my brothers and sisters. We give thanks and praise to the King of Kings and his Christ 
for you all um, because you love you love him because you love studying I and I Father's love letters, his words, his instruction to I and I in spirit and in truth. So until we reason again, Shalom Rastafari and Salam Tana Taina Yisterling.